your mark, ready, set, let's go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> On your mark, ready, set, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for swing, baby. Yeah. Get jiggy with it. Ladies and gentlemen, it's freedom, baby. grew. He looked forward eagerly to his next campaign. He'd been selected to command a new army, the 7th, slated for the... Then, the green light. As supplies begin to arrive, a stalemate of almost two months ends. I simply hope on which the great eggs of the Third Army are hanged. I don't mean for... Job. He'll be with the 94th until the end of the war. On day two of Operation Torch, George S. Patton's landing forces are still slugging it out with Vichy French on the coast of Morocco. Dawn, December 23, 1944. Chaumont, Belgium. Combat. Americans love a winner. The enemy, why did you pick me to command? I didn't pick you. I picked you. One of the best field commanders I've got, but you don't know when to shut up, George. C. Scott is... Please inform him that I do not care to drink with him or any other Russian son of a bitch. We were discussing uh, air supremacy, Sir Arthur. Amo, you magnificent bastard, I read your book! Won't have cards in my army. Give me 400,000 gallons, I'll go to Berlin. George, I can't do it. God, I'm proud of these men. Spirit and the best man in the world. You know, thank God I <laughs> The trail of the Third Army in the 19th Tactical Air Command. Commence firing. You magnificent bastard, I read your book! When you go to a movie that purports to depict a reality that you remember very vividly, obviously you're going to be disappointed. In Their support would not materialize due to the disastrous winter weather. Determined resistance was expected, as the Germans had years to prepare. seem like an impossible mix, but that's what defines Patton's genius for war. He believed in constant... On your mark, ready, set, let's go. Yeah, baby. <laughs> On your mark, ready, set, let's go. Let's go, let's go, let's go. 